The canal walk meant to help revitalize downtown Richmond is finally open and we'll take you there. If you see military helicopters overhead and Marines running through the streets, well, they're supposed to be there. We'll tell you why. And we'll give you a look to see the real power behind a hurricane. We've got a Hurricane Tammy this year. How threatening is that? As we get started this morning, folks, another great day. 59 now. We'll have your complete forecast coming up on News Channel 6 Saturday morning. This is WTBR TV News Channel 6 Saturday morning. Good morning and welcome to News Channel 6 this Saturday morning. I'm Ross Gidotti. And I'm Allison Bozarth. We're glad you're with us. We're going to get straight to the news this morning. A monumental day for Richmond yesterday. Richmond's restored canals and new canal walk is officially open. The two canals stretch from the Tredegar Iron Works to 7th Train Street in Shaco Bottom. Bud Myers is down there live to tell you about the work that it took to construct this spectacular project. That's our big story this half hour. You've got it. I want to tell you, this is actually a story of a canal walk, which is really one of imagination and cooperation. You see, restoring 200-year canals is not an easy chore, particularly when you have the Environmental Protection Agency on you. And that's exactly what happened with the city of Richmond a few years ago. You see, we had a problem, basically, with the storm water in our sewage system. Now, Richmond's sewage system basically is like thousands of cities around the country. What happens, it's fine during a dry spell, but when it overflows, it simply runs the sewage into the James River. So what the challenge was for the city was basically to put a 92-inch pipe through the city to take up the stormwater situation. Meanwhile, the Richmond Riverfront Association basically wanted to revitalize the canal, but it didn't have the funds. So by killing two birds with one stone, they came up with a canal project. Now this was a serious, serious problem. Basically, they brought in uh, Draper Aid and Associates, and they had been associated with this because they were very instrumental in installing the 3.2 miles of the flood wall, which without the flood wall, this could not have happened. Now, if you look at the canal itself, it looks very wide, but when it started off, that was not the situation. It was almost like a ditch. Now, if you can think of snakes and mud, I mean, we're actually below the water table. So now that we're below the water table, imagine digging a hole and it filling up with water. So they had to have a very special thing which they called low altitude surveying. What they did is on all of the bridges that were across the canal as it stood, they hung themselves and took the survey to lay this 92 inch pipe. Then they triangulated the points against the wall to go right down the center of the canal. Now this canal basically is about 30 uh, feet deep to you before you get to the pipe. So they had to blast. Now you can imagine the situation here, a very tight quarters with big equipment. We're in a historical area and we're in downtown Richmond. They had to set off blast in order to make it this width. And it was very, 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 very scary. In fact, at one point I was told they were almost one foot away from the entire water system that really gives water to three counties in, in the city. So we're talking about blasting, hysterical problems, talking about going in and digging in mud and water tables. This was a tremendous engineering achievement. Today when we celebrate the Canal Walk, let's celebrate the ingenuity, the imagination, and the cooperation of a group of people who had an idea, took care of a problem, and gave us a jewel for the crown for the city of Richmond. Back to the desk. All right, bye. thanks so much for all of that information, and yes, we should celebrate all of the work it took to do this. News Channel 6 gave you three special stories about the new canal. If you happen to miss them or would like to see them again, you can